All eyes were on US Vice President Kamala Harris as she took the stage to deliver the most significant speech of her career on the concluding day of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Vice President Harris, who is of Indian and African heritage, on Thursday night accepted her party's nomination, becoming the second woman to do so for the Democratic Party after former First Lady Hillary Clinton. And I want you to know, I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self. She laid out the consequences of electing former President Donald Trump to a second term, calling him an unserious man. Referring to 2020, when Trump lost his re-election bid, she said that he sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol and fanned the flames. In many ways, Donald Trump is an unserious man. <laughs> but the consequences... But the consequences of putting Donald Trump back in the White House are extremely serious. Consider, consider not only the chaos and calamity when he was in office, but also the gravity of what has happened since he lost the last election. The vice president promised to work for the middle class in bringing together workers, small businesses and American companies if voted to power. Harris said she will create an opportunity economy where everyone has a chance to succeed. Harris pledged to proudly sign reproductive freedom and abortion right into law. The Democratic Party candidate promised to ensure that America would rule the world in space and artificial intelligence. Harris also spoke about standing strong with Ukraine and NATO allies and getting a ceasefire and hostage deal done to end the war in Gaza. Well, we trust women. We trust women. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. With respect to the war in Gaza, President Biden and I are working around the clock because now is the time to get a hostage deal and a ceasefire deal done. Harris remembered her mother, Shamala Gopalan, and said that she misses her every day, especially when she is on the verge of breaking the highest glass ceiling of the United States. She said the November 5 election is the most important in America's history.